Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time for design time. Have your phone and your tablets ready because we have a nifty QR code for you right on your screen to get more information on today's topic. We are out in Auburn at Tri-City Furniture with our great friend Kathy. Kathy, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. Yes, of course. So, Kathy, we're going to be on the subject of sleep today. And it's a good subject. It's always an interesting subject. <laughs> and there are so many different kinds of mattresses. Yes. We have foam, spring and other variables too. So what really makes the cost difference with the well, mattress? It's all about what's inside mm -hmm. or what actually isn't inside. Mm -hmm. And that will make the variable of a mattress being more expensive as compared to lower. So this is so true. And you know, in big box, especially a king size, what is inside? That's an inside mystery. Well, the thing is, you gotta realize that I've got some boxes here mm -hmm. and you can think, that's got foam in it, it's got lots of springs, but when you actually look inside, it may not. Mm -hmm. So we have different boxes that offer different things. So coil counts, the quality of the coil is very important, but also then the padding. And so when I open this one, we can see, yeah, we get a lot of coils in there. We didn't know from the outside, but when we go here, we just have foam. Mm -hmm. So what's inside is what makes the price. Mm -hmm. With coils, it's very important that they're made from tempered steel. And I always like, people are like, well, so what is that? Well, with a paper clip, if I bend this a couple times, it breaks yeah. because it's not tempered. But in comparison, a safety pin, I can open and close it multiple times because this has been tempered, so it has longevity. Now, mattress springs are going to be tempered differently, but we need them so that they don't weaken and break down. So, Kathy, what would you say is the most uh, expensive component in a mattress? Definitely the padding, because that is the biggest cost factor. Now, today, many mattress mat manufacturers are using the higher quality specialty foams like the memory foams and the latex foams. They're longer lasting, they don't compress like the polyurethane, so they're more expensive and it's important that you have good padding. If the springs hold up but the padding goes, the mattress won't be comfortable. And Kathy, what are some other components that can be changed? Well, really, it's about what's inside, and they make these mattress, the, the, the foams inside, all variables. So you have denser ones, you have softer ones, you have kind that be really super soft in a pillow top. Mattresses come so many different ways. We can get firm, plush, pillow tops, Euro tops, and they're even firm pillow tops. So there's just so many Many variables the way these companies put it together but it's the combination of the padding with the coils and so you have to ask you have to know what's going to be inside because that's what the cost is all about and so a lot of people think well I'm gonna buy a memory foam mattress and so you might think that in a memory foam that is 12 to 13 inches deep most of that's memory foam, but actually the way they variable it, it could be two inches, one inch, a half an inch, could be very, very slight. The rest of it then is just filler. And so it, it isn't as costly if you put an inch of memory foam in compared to having two, three or four inches. So the inside components are what you're gonna buy. So Kathy, tell us, how do you know if you're getting the best deal? Well, it really comes down to that a mattress cost is going to reflect what's inside. You never really will get a $1,500 mattress for $399 every day. That mattress probably should be $399 every day. And it's not going to have as many coils. Some mattresses have 800 coils, but if they make a coil big, they can only, they maybe only put 300 in. So it's less steel, 
less, less quality in the padding. So the variables inside are reflected. If someone's selling a mattress for $3.99 every day and it should be selling at 15, they're gonna go out of business mm -hmm. because you just can't do that. It's a lower cost mattress and that's what it's supposed to sell for. Mm -hmm. Unless there's a good reason to discontinue something or get a floor sample off, those prices reflect the quality. They sure do. Well, Kathy, we thank you so much for educating us on the different things that are inside our mattress and yes. the price differences too. Yes, it really is important. Realize that those deals, mattresses can be made for any price. You buy it in a box, realize that there is going to be less shipping, but really there's less guts to it and the guts are what make mattresses last buy a good one keep it out of the landfill and have a wonderful comfortable night's sleep mm, that's what we all want absolutely absolutely <laughs> kathy we thank you so much thank you yes and thank you for watching this edition of design time for any more information on everything mattress head to our website wneo.com